homeostatic regulatory mechanism consists of either negative or positive feedback systems. The control system and negative feedback systems makes adjustment to offset the input. This decrease or eliminates the stimulus, allowing the variable to return to a near at set point and maintain homeostasis. This is far more common than positive feedback systems. It has two different existing categories. The long loop feedback system and the short loop feedback system. Long loop feedback system occurs when the hormones from peripheral endocrine glands can exert feedback control on the hypothalamus and anterior pituitary. This type of control is exemplified in the relation between the hypothalamus, anterior pituitary gland, and the peripheral endocrine glands controlled by pituitary hormones. On the other hand, the short loop feedback system has a direct negative feedback inhibition to the synthesis or secretion of the related hypothalamic hormones. We have here the stimuli for secreting the growth hormone which is the sleep. The hypothalamus release the growth hormone releasing hormone or GHRH to stimulate the release of anterior pituitary hormone which is the growth hormone. This hormone then acts on the liver and other peripheral tissue to release the insulin-like growth factor 1 or the somatomedin C. The somatomedin C exhibit long-loop feedback on the growth hormone secretion by inhibiting the release of GHRH of hypothalamus. It then results to the decrease of release of growth hormone from adenohypophysis. Short-loop feedback occurs when the growth hormone directly acts on the hypothalamus to inhibit the secretion of growth hormone from adenohypophysis which is still result to the decrease in release of growth hormone. In general, if some factors become excessive or deficient, a control system initiates negative feedback, which consists of series of changes that would maintain homeostasis.